Ending a week of commemorations for the champion of racial equality, South Africa's first black president, Nelson Mandela, was accorded a traditional burial in his ancestral village. Leaders across the world participated in the funeral of the anti-apartheid icon. South African military jets and helicopters flew over Mandela's casket placed over the grave. The South African flag was removed from his casket, which was lowered into the ground, followed by a traditional ceremony. A full military honor guard and a 21-gun salute escorted Mandela's coffin to the marquee, where mourners bid adieu to Mandela. The state funeral was attended by 4,500 guests, including UK's Prince Charles, Iranian Vice President Mohammad Shariat Madari, and presidents of several African nations. Scenes like tribal leaders wrapped in animal skins joined dignitaries in dark suits for the walk towards the burial grounds. Soldiers lined the route as mourners slowly made their way to the gravesite atop a hill overlooking the valleys of Kunu. Ninety-five candles glowed at the funeral service, one for each year of his life. Mandela was imprisoned for 27 years for defying the racist apartheid government that led South Africa for decades. He emerged from prison in 1990 and became South Africa's first black president four years later. His connection was deep with India and seeing his struggle for racial equality, Mandela was conferred Bharat Ratna, the country's highest civilian award, in 1991. In 1993, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. In 2001, he was given the International Gandhi Peace Prize for his exemplary work for promotion of peace and non-violence by the Indian government. Years after his 1999 retirement from the presidency, Mandela was considered the ideal head of state. He became a yardstick for African leaders who consistently fell short when measured against him. Mandela's burial brought down the curtain on 10 days of national mourning and memorial events for the global peace icon. Mandela died on 5th of December after a protracted illness. With the death of Madiba, an exceptional journey has ended, but his struggle will inspire and encourage people not only in South Africa but all over the world. Thank you Bureau for Report, the life DD News. Of